Hello and welcome to the video. I just wanted to showcase some of what WWE World brought to Philadelphia this year. It is essentially taking over WrestleMania access and it was a lot more of an organized event and a really great time compared to what I thought it was going to be like. And to kick things off here, we can see a lot of the newer Mattel wrestling figures, which I thought was super cool. I've always wanted to see them before they release. I don't collect them anymore, but when I was younger, me and my brother had all of them. This Seth Rollins absolutely caught my eye. Um, you can see right here we have WrestleMania 39, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. There's another Cody Rhodes and main event Jay Uso. And if we come around to the side here, we can actually see The Rock from the Attitude Era, an LA Knight prototype. I believe that's Dominic Mysterio behind him and Rey Mysterio from WrestleMania 39 right there in the Great Muta attire. Then we also have these Ninja Turtle inspired wrestling figures. And this was super cool. They even had a Roman Reigns Shredder and a Casey Jones American Nightmare Cody Rhodes that wasn't on display when I went. I went on the Monday after WrestleMania and it was so much fun. Right here you have Zelina Vega from Backlash last year. Probably the biggest moment of her career and now will be immortalized into action figure format and here's a bunch of the other legends that are up and coming the dudley boys there and this was also super cool they had a little rocky step display here then with none other than the rock of course and the other members of the bloodline and a bunch of other superstars like bailey shinsuke nakamura you had ricochet even tony d'angelo the don of nxt is in there and this is really cool this is kind of just an overview of what the wrestlemania shop and and look like then we switch over to the main arena itself and we're gonna look at the title belts here this is the ECW championship one of the last belts from ECW and it is super cool then you have the Smackdown tag team championship and the women's championship right here and it is super cool to see the wear and tear on this belt from it being used so many times over the years then we have none other than the million dollar championship itself and it looks absolutely stunning and this is where we segue right into the ecw part of wwe world and we have a rob van dam singlet a balls mahoney chair bubba ray dudley's glasses and of course look at this this is beautiful a cactus jack attire signed by none other than cactus jack himself mick foley it is so cool to see all of this history from ecw right there was a taz singlet another rob van dam attire a few other ones and even the sandman's shirt over there next exhibit over is actually the bloodline exhibit featuring some items from the tribal chief roman reigns and of course the great one the rock and this is a really cool small exhibit but then we pivot into the bray wyatt exhibit you have a sister abigail and rambling rabbit uh, costume from his return at extreme rules back in 2022 and it's super cool to see these costumes and props up close and in person and of course it would not be bray wyatt without the fiend and we have the fiend wwe championship right next to his fun house and the door that he entered into from extreme rules where he made his comeback here's a better look at the fun house with huskus the pig then we actually move on to CM Punk's attire from his infamous pipe bomb promo, which I did not know they had, and it is so cool to see it in person. Then if you continue through the WWE world, you will come across the Hall of Fame exhibit with legends like Paul Heyman right there, like Thunderbolt Patterson, Bull Nakano, Muhammad Ali, the US Express, and of course, Liam Avia. You know, these are some of the best wrestlers and wrestling promoters in the world and now they are finally immortalized in the wwe hall of fame and it is super cool to get up close and personal with this ring gear with this championship and it's so great to see this history being represented at wwe world i mean right here alone you have a really cool us express windham and rotundo t-shirt right there and this is another really cool piece a nice purple robe and this was actually
currently worn by Rocky Mavia. So this again is a super big piece of wrestling history right here. Right here is another robe. That red one right there on your right was actually worn by stunning Steve Austin. We have more robes, more ring gear as we make our way down the line for the Hall of Fame section. And it is again, just super cool to see everybody's ring gear represented in this section. And if you're confused about what type of wrestling shorts those are there, they were worn by Mr. T himself. Then we have Alundra Blaze's singlet. Moving on to Jerry the King Lawler's crown and cape. That is another really cool piece of history. And this right here was a super cool surprise in my opinion. It is one of Dusty Rhodes' robes and hats. And you can just see the work and detail that went into these costumes. Then we have what I would say is the most defining CM Punk ring attire ever, flying his Chicago flags. Then we move on to Triple H's little exhibit that he has from one of the greatest WrestleMania entrances of all time that also included Charlotte Flair, Alexa Bliss, and Sasha Banks. And the work and detail on the headpiece, look at this, this is absolutely stunning. Then they also had a little in your house exhibit, Eddie Guerrero's low rider, which was super cool to see in person. They still have the dice in the mirror right there is a picture from when he actually drove this car. And it's just so cool to see that even to this day, Eddie Guerrero still has an impact on the wrestling world. I don't think any wrestling fan will ever dispute that he is one of the absolute greatest in the wrestling industry. Then we had this really cool centerpiece of a rock sponsored drag race car and this car actually leads us right into the Attitude Era display. Kicking things off in the Attitude Era we have the Undertaker's display with multiple pieces of ring gear and memorabilia from that time including this awesome entrance piece from none other than WrestleMania 15. This was super cool to see and to see how well it's held up over the years is insane. This was a super cool piece in the Attitude Era display. Then we move on to the Stone Cold side of things, starting off with King of the Ring. This is the robe and of course the chair to the right there. Um, you could actually take a picture in the chair. The staff was actually helping people take pictures if they didn't have anybody else to help them out. It was super cool, very friendly of the WWE World staff. And it's just cool to see all of this Stone Cold memorabilia right there. You have a cooler and right here this uh, little vest. This is super cool, especially because you can see the weathering from it being worn and used throughout the years. And this right here is probably one of the coolest pieces in his exhibit. It is his vest and his boots from his WrestleMania 13 match against the hitman Bret Hart. And our next stop in the Attitude Era is actually with none other than Dustin Rhodes, Gold Dust. And we actually have a singlet and a robe, the robe being from WrestleMania 13. And it is super cool to see this gear and see Dustin be represented because he was a very good comedic relief of the Attitude Era. Right here we have a Vader singlet. And then we move on to the Raw is War side of things with this really cool Hunter Hearst Helmsley gear and Shawn Michaels leading us right into Degeneration X. And I actually shot this in reverse, but so we do have Rikishi right next to Degeneration X, but there you have the helmets from when they invaded WCW. You have Shawn Michaels hat, China's ring gear, which is signed by China. And it's so cool to see her being represented. Uh, she was such a huge part of Degeneration X, especially during the Raw is War era. And here you have some more with Triple H's ring gear, the Mike Tyson shirt that he ripped up with the Degeneration X underneath. And then we move on to the People's Champ, The Rock. And this display is actually super cool to be able to see all of his different attires that he wore during the Attitude Era, given that he was such a substantial figure in that era. And that leads us on to Mr. Sexual Chocolate himself, Mark Henry, the Godfather, leading into a little corner where we see Mankind ring gear, which then we take a look and we see the second face of Foley, Mr. Dude Love himself, getting some love at WWE World in front of that awesome love shack. And then we move on to Mick Foley's ring gear with the Cactus Jack wanted dead t-shirt and it was super cool to see that his vest was actually padded insulated I always thought it was just a flannel so that was actually a nice little tidbit there 
Then we have Stephanie McMahon and Trish Stratus, two of the leading women during the WWE Attitude Era. And it's so cool to see the cowboy hats, the boots, the jacket. And that leads us into Kurt Angle with his King of the Ring gear, including his two medals, of course. And then this was also a very lovely surprise to see Chris Jericho represented in the Attitude Era display, as well as all this vintage merchandise. Outside of the Attitude Era display, you had Tattoo Pavilion, where you could get tattoos. Here is main event Jay Uso taking pictures with fans, some of the picture and autograph lines as well, including the Pat McAfee show, which was filming live. Then we also had the WWE Create Your Own Entrance area, and it is so cool to see people actually playing along to the entrances, just like this, where they're waving their hands for Jey Uso's entrance, and when this guy came out to Seth Rollins and he was pointing, people were singing Seth's song. It is so cool to see that stuff at WWE World. And so overall, it was definitely a fun time. I would highly recommend it to anybody. I got to meet Kevin Owens, Liv Morgan, Rich Holland, and a few other superstars. And of course, they also had a main stage panel room where you could actually do a Q&A session with WWE superstars. And they also had VIP meet and greet add-ons if you wanted to go ahead and meet somebody. I did pass on LA Knight, and I do have a little bit of FOMO, but... I will, I will move on from it, but again, a great time at WWE World, and I would highly recommend it to anybody that would like to go. Wow!